msanii wa hip hop lakini sio msanii wa hip hop tu ni katibu mkuu wa shirikisho la muziki nchini Tanzania shirikisho la muziki nchini Tanzania ni Shimuta au kwa Kiingereza Tanzania Music Federation au TMF mpo hapo uh, how au access hii event ya access kwa ujumla nilivyopokea mimi ni kwamba naona wanakuja ku kuwakutanisha wadau wakubwa wa sanaa na wasanii wetu na wadau wetu wa hapa. Kwa hiyo access inavyokuja hapa basically ni wadau wanakuja kukutana hapa. Kwa hiyo kama wewe ni mdau access ni mahala sahihi pa wewe kuja. <coughs> Swala so, la pili access ipo kwa ajili ya kukuza brand na biashara ya msanii. Kukuza brand kwa maana ipi? Uh, wanafanya seminar elekezi nyingi capacity building eh wasanii wanakuja kuelekezwa namna sahihi ya kufanya uh, biashara yao ya sanaa kwa sababu kuwa msanii ni kitu kimoja kujua biashara ya sanaa ni kitu kingine kwa hiyo hiyo itawasaidia kuweza kukuza brand na biashara yao <coughs> so la tatu ni kupata elimu katika sekta ya mziki elimu kwa maana ipi kwa maana ya wanakuja wadau wakubwa kama watu kutoka universal sony ambao wapo katika game muda mrefu. Kwa mfano kama Universal na Sony nafikiri wanafanya biashara ya muziki takriban ni mwaka kama 40 kama sio kwa sababu Sony ndio walisaini mpaka Michael Jackson. Yes. Mwaka kama 40. Kwa hiyo wanajua kona zote kama fagio la zamani. Unajua fagio la zamani unajua kona zote. He. Kwa hiyo unapokutana watu kama hawa ukishia nao zile experience zao kuna vitu ambavyo unaweza kuvipata wewe kama mfanya biashara mpya. Kwa hiyo watapata elimu. Uh, faida nyingine ya access ni swala la wasanii wetu kukutana na wasanii wa nchi tofauti. Kama ambavyo mmesikia. Tutakuwa tuna wasanii wetu wa nyumbani, local talent, lakini pia tutakuwa tuna wasanii kutoka nje. Wasanii wa kukutana na ni kitu kizuri kwa sababu ndani yake inaweza kuzaliwa collab, ndani yake inaweza kuzaliwa uh, mahusiano, waka network, eh? Unashangaa unamwona labda manfongo au Sholomwamba anafanya collab na msanii kutoka Mali au wapi wasanii wakishirikiana inasaidia kuvusha sanaa kwenye mipaka tunafanya collab kwa sababu ya kubadilishana mafans kubadilishana mipaka kwa mimi ninyo leo nikifanya collab na msanii kutoka Mali ina maana ameenda kunitambulisha Mali kwa kwa audience yake mashabiki wake watu wake na wanakuwa wanafahamu kuna feed queue kafanya na safe cater na hapa nchini pia watu watafahamu kama kuna safe cater kafanya na feed queue. Kwa hiyo huo ndio muhimu wa wasanii kuweza ku network na vitu kama hivyo. Hizi ni faida ambazo zinaletwa na kushiriki kwenye access. Lakini access zaidi ipo hapa nchini kwa ajili ya kuweza ku discover talent, kuweza kuvumbua vipaji. Umeona? Vipaji kivipi? Uh, kwa maana ya kwamba kuna wasanii wengi sana wana uwezo lakini pengine hawakuwahi kupata access, eh, nafasi au fursa ya kushiriki kwenye jukwaa kubwa, global stage. Access inaleta global stage kwa hapa. Kwa hiyo kama ni msanii na unaamini kwamba una kitu cha ziada, you surely got what it takes kwa wewe kuwa pale, definitely access ni sehemu ya wewe kuja kushiriki. Unashiriki vipi? Ni swala rahisi sana. Unaingia katika site uh, ni Music in Africa, unaweza kujiregister kule ili uweze kushiriki kwenye access. Kwa hiyo swala gumu ambayo nimeona wasanii wengi wanalipitia kwa sasa ni kujiregister, eh, kujisajili. Usajili na watu kwa sababu ya process ndefu na details kibao mule ndani jina lako kamili makazi unayotokea aina sanaa unayofanya kwa nini unataka ushiriki na vitu kama hivyo lakini nafikiri wataalamu wanaweza kuwasaidia katika mambo mengine kama hayo kwa hiyo mimi nifanye tu machache nisapotezee muda na mambo mengi ya kuongea lakini ningependa tu kufanya machache uh, kwa kumaliza kwa kusema au kwa kumquote Eddie alichosema kwamba kuna wasanii wengi wana vipaji lakini kwa nini wanakufa maskini why they die broke so many talented people but why wanaishia kuwa maskini kwa sababu ya kukosa nafasi ya kukutana na adau wengine wakaweza kubadilishana ujuzi ili kuweza kugundua wapi wamekwama na namna gani ya kungatuka ili waweze kusogea mbele yangu ni hayo tu asanteni na sasa hivi tuna hashtag yetu inapita pita huko si ndio kwamba jamhuri ya wapambanaji tumefurahi sana na tunawashukuru wenzetu Music in Africa chini ya bwana Eddie and the team
kwa kuja Tanzania kuichagua Tanzania labda ni seme sisi tunajiona tumebarikiwa sana kwa sababu nchi hii kwa sasa kama mnavyofahamu imekuwa na matamasha mengi sana na matukio mengi ya kimataifa yanaanza kuja nchini kwetu kwa ni jambo jema katika kuziendeleza na kuziconnect sekta zetu kama alivyosema pia FitQ kwa niaba ya industry kwa matukio kama haya i Access Music in Africa Conference sisi tunaheshimu ni mkutano mkubwa barani Afrika ambao na wakonekti wasanii unawaleta pamoja kwa serikali hatujalichukulia ile jambo kimchezo mchezo tumelichukulia kwa uzito mkubwa sana na ni matarajio yangu nitasema baadaye zaidi wadau wa industry ya music in Tanzania watalichukulia pia swala hili kwa uzito mkubwa katika siku zilizobaki wakajiregister na kuweza kushiriki kwenye mkutano labda ni seme nafahamu tumetoka juzi tu kwenye tamasha au tukio kubwa sana la kuitangaza nchi yetu na kuconnect sekta zetu na dunia la mashindano ya dunia ya urembo utanashati na mitindo kwa viziwi tunashukuru Tanzania tumetoa mrembo namba moja duniani kwa viziwi makofi kwanza kwa kebia dija e, lakini pia tukatoa mtanashati namba mbili duniani kwa viziwi makofi sana kwa kile kijana anaitwa nani hilo pili Songoro si nani uko eh, Songoro haya tuwapigie makofi tena washindi wetu wameiwakilisha nchi yetu vyema sasa ni seme tu wakati kule tulikuwa nchi ya 12 duniani e, kupata fursa ile ya kuhost lile jambo na niweke takwimu vizuri kwenye maeneo kadhaa tulifanya royo tu nchi yetu ilikuwa ya tisa duniani E, kushiriki ile program kubwa sana ya kuitangaza nchi yetu duniani lakini kabla ya kuja mambo ya viziwi katikati hapo timu zetu mbili kwenye sekta zetu hizi za utamaduni sanaa na michezo tembo warriors na mabinti wale serengeti walifanya mambo makubwa si ndio na wenzetu pia wale walioenda commonwealth kwa mara ya kwanza miaka kumi na kitu tulikuwa tunakwenda mashindano ya dunia ya commonwealth hatupati medali vijana wakaudi na medali tatu za kuanzia tumekwenda na wenzetu wa tembo warriors uturuki wamekuwa wamefika robo finali lakini wakawa ranked pia kidunia kwa sasa Tanzania katika mchezo ule wa soka la wale mavu kwa dunia tuko namba saba duniani kwa tumeingia tukumi bora lakini vile vile tuko namba saba duniani tukaenda wale mabinti nao kule India wamepiga watu kule tumekwenda tumeingia robo finali si ndio tukashuka hapa sasa tumeta, tumeta, tume, tumeendesha tukio la dunia nzima la urembo kwa viziwi na utanashati tukiwa nchi ya 12 sasa tukio hili la music in Africa nalo kwa nini nasema serikali tunalipa uzito sana ni kwamba Tanzania kwa kufanya tamasha hili tunakwenda kuwa nchi ya tano Afrika e, kuwa mwenyeji wa tamasha kama hili kubwa sana linalo la kutanisha e, watu wa Afrika na wadau wengine kutoka sehemu mbalimbali duniani kuja kujadili maswala ya kimkakati na namna ya kupeleka mbele tasnia ya mziki kwa Tanzania imagine kule tulikuwa tisa royo tua si kwenye viziwi tumekuwa sijui wangapi wa 12 Leo kwenye hili jambo tunakwenda kuwa nchi ya tano na kama Eddie alivyosema nafikiri tutamalizia mazungumzo in a way naamini tutafika pazuri huenda tukaendelea kuwa wenyeji kwa hili jambo na serikali ya Tanzania we are very ready to host this one uh, this access in Africa event even if if it takes for five consecutive consecutive years we are ready for that Eddie it's up to you and your team to tell us <laughs> you just tell us when eh, will it be three consecutive years is it gonna be five consecutive years this country is very ready to host you and your team and the rest of the music fraternity in Africa to Tanzania sasa muhimu ni kwamba mara ya kwanza walifanya huko Senegal to Senegal, to Senegal. Then wakafanya Kenya, Kenya wakaenda Ghana, wakaenda South Africa, Jobeg mara ya tano Tanzania inakwenda kuweka historia nyingine adhim na adim kabisa ya kuwa nchi mwenyeji 
wa mkutano huu mkubwa sana barani Afrika unaoikutanisha sekta na tasnia ya mziki. Sasa FIDQ kwa upande wa sekta ameeleza vizuri. Mimi niongeze machache tu. Mkutano huu unakuja Tanzania. Mkutano huu leo hii unakuja Tanzania na tarehe 24 mpaka 26 mwezi huu Novemba. Kwa bado maandalizi yanaendelea. Kwa hiyo tarehe 24 mwezi huu mpaka tarehe 26. Of course kutakuwa na mikutano hapa hapa Julius Nyerere mijadala lakini baadaye pia kutakuwa na performance. Sasa la kwanza niwaambie wadau wa tasnia ya muziki Tanzania. Tumekuwa tukilalamika sana access na wenzetu wanatumia neno access. E, sisi tuna neno letu la Tanzania lakini sio zuri sana, si ndio? Connection. Wenzetu wanatumia neno access. <laughs> e, tumekuwa tukilalamika masoko kwenye kazi zetu. Umeelewa? Wasanii wetu ni maarufu lakini hawana kitu. Kwa maana hawa make money, it's not a lot of money. Wasani wetu wa Tanzania tunalalamikia exposure. Eh, tunakutana vipi na dunia? Mbona kuna nchi fulani fulani hivi wenzetu ukishangaa kidogo wako mji fulani huko duniani, ukishangaa kidogo wako wapi? Wako matamasha makubwa wako wapi? Ninachowaambia ndugu zangu katika industry ya muziki Tanzania, serikali yenu chini ya mama yetu Samia Suru Hassan imedhamiria kuinua sekta ya muziki. Na ujio wa tamasha au mkutano huu kwa sababu pia si serikali ni wadhamini ni sehemu ya wadhamini wa sehemu ya mkutano huu. Serikali imejitoa kwa ajili ya industry wala sio kwa ajili yetu si serikali. Tumejitoa kwa ajili yenu. Mkutano huu utawapa fursa wasanii wetu na wadau wa value chain nzima ya mziki kukutana na mabingwa wenzetu kwenye mziki Watu walio tuzidi wana hiyo access. Mister tumia sana neno connections, ndio? <laughs> wana access hapa tumesikia wanakuja watu kutoka Universal sijui Sony sijui Boomplay sijui vitu ma studio ma production companies marketing companies kubwa zilizoko Afrika na dunia wanakuja Tanzania wewe umejifungia somewhere uko umejificha unalalamika sina masoko <laughs> atutoki tutakuwa tumelaniwa sisi serikali ijafanya yake hili tamasha tunawaletea lina ni package inayokuja kutatua changamoto zetu zote. Ni kwenye tamasha hili ambapo tutakutana na wenzetu wasanii pia wanakuja tuweze kufanya nao performance tujifunze watu wana perform vipi kwenye stage za kimataifa kama alivyosema. Nafikiri mpaka sasa kwenye performance tu tunatukaribia orodha ya wasanii 30 ambao wako. Eh still yok actually. Nusu wa Tanzania ndio 30, nusu wengine wanatoka nchi mbalimbali. Kwa hiyo kwanza wasanii wetu watakuja kuona pia performance za wenzao kutoka nchi mbalimbali. Kwa nini leo hii nilikuwa nasoma jana eh, Coachella ile music festival ya kule Southern California. Jana wameshatoa tarehe za mwaka ujao. 2023 watafanya tarehe 23 nafikiri mpaka 24 wao wanafanya weekend moja na weekend nyingine. Wameshatoa tarehe. Nimeangalia kwenye orodha ya list ya initial performers. Hakuna mtanzania. Kwa nini? Tukutano kama huu unakuja kutupa access ya kuweza kuona biashara ya mziki ina tabia gani ina huruka gani e, unawezaje kupenya kwenda kufanya show kwenye matamasha makubwa duniani unawezaje kwenda maana sio kwenda unawezaje kwenda na ukabaki kila mwaka unaitwa maana siweza ukapenya si ndio jamani ukapenya ukaenda fanya show ikawa ndio don tolee hiyo <laughs> wadada kusalimia au kusalimii baada ya kufanya show tunaona kwenye tamasha hili inatuletea wasanii wengine wa Afrika na naamini kwenye siku zijazo eh, Ed in the team they will be revealing the team the artists who are coming to perform eh, slowly as we, we catch up to the dates wataweza kuzitoa lakini naamini wanatuletea watu ambao wana exposure ya kimataifa ukiangalia show yake unajifunza kitu unajifunza namna ya kwenda mbele Tamasha hili linakuja kuzungumzia pia utakuwa na mada za biashara ya mziki. Wasanii wetu wengi wanalalamika mziki tunafanya tuna vipaji haulipi. Kwa nini mziki haulipi kwako kwa wengine unalipa? Kuna watu ni mabilionea, si ndio? Kwa sababu ya mziki. Duniani, Afrika hii hii. Kwa nini sio sisi wa Tanzania? Manake ni kwamba kuna mahali tunakosea. Tamasha hili au mkutano huu unakuja kutoa majawabu. Watakuja majaya nti hapa wanotuambia 
sisi ndio tunaofanya biashara ya mziki ukitaka tukupe hela uwe tajiri fanya moja mbili tatu kwa mimi kwangu kwa kweli kwa manufaa ya huu mkutano nitashangaa sana kama wadau wa Tanzania actually mpaka sasa ni wachache yani mpaka sasa kwenye orodha ya waliojiandikisha wadau wa mziki wa Tanzania ni wachache kuliko wanaotoka nje ambao watajilipia ndege watakuja kukaa kwenye maoteli wako wengi kuliko sisi ambao tuko hapa kwa hiyo nafikiri na katibu yupo wa shirikisho la mziki tuendelee kuhamasisha sisi hatuna manufaa mengi kwenye hili kuliko msanii mwenyewe anayekuja kusikiliza njia za kutoka na kupata namna ya kwenda mbele amezungumza hadi hapa kuna vitu tutafa, tutaambiana pia na wametupendelea kidogo watatupa semina nafikiri ni lini kesho kesho e, na hiyo semina ya kesho sasa bahati mbaya ni kwamba mosi watakuja wengi waliojiandikisha si ndio kabla na wachache kidogo Namba. na kitu ungetamani tunapokwenda semina ya kesho na nyinginezo wasanii na wadau wa sanaa Tanzania wangekuwa wengi wameshajiandikisha kwa sababu edi na timu yake watatupa benefit ya kutukoch na kututrain kujiandaa na ule mkutano mm -hmm. e, mimi nitakupeni mfano tumewahi kwenda nje na wasanii sasa mimi nikawa nawaangalia wasanii wa Tanzania sehemu nyingi sana wao ndo wanapewa business card <laughs> yani wao hawana business card <laughs> Sasa tukakutana na mtu mmoja very important alivyotueleza ni mtu mkubwa kidogo kwenye industry ya mziki huko duniani. Sasa yeye bahati mbaya akawa ameishiwa business card. Kwa anamuomba msanii wa Tanzania naomba business card yako. Unajua ile story ya kubana na mlango ile. Unajua jicho linalotoka mtu akibana na mlango si kuna. <laughs> si kuna story yetu mtu alobana na mlango jicho linatokaje? Msanii ametoa jicho kweli kweli atachukua namba ya mzeni jamaa kaweka loki mbani uangaike mpaka uweke simu mpe mtu business card that's more professional nimeona hiyo changamoto wasanii wetu baadhi sio wote hata business card important detail kama hiyo tu kwenye business hana um, thank you for for coming um, my name is edi um, i um, come originally from zimbabwe harare uh, but for the past 10 years or so, I've been living in Africa, so very much an African child. Um, we are here because um, we've got quite a special uh, program that we are bringing to Tanzania. Uh, it's called the Access Music uh, Conference, which is essentially um, the global music industry coming to Dar es Salaam from 24, 25, 26 November. Why are these people coming here? They are coming because there is something special in this country uh, from a music perspective. So uh, we have been doing this event um, in different African countries over the past five years. We've been to Senegal. We have been to Kenya. We've been to South Africa. We have been to Ghana. So every year this event is moving to a different African country. It comes with a very special agenda. The agenda is to discover the talent, is to connect the local industry, and is to bring opportunities. These opportunities are for our local musicians. What we want is for everyone who comes to this event to know how to make you know, uh, a professional music career. Uh, we are bringing uh, all the most important people that we could find. Record labels, Universal Music, Sony Music, uh, people are coming from the you know, uh, distributor side, publishers, festivals, people who have money to invest in the African music space. These are the people that come with access. Um, so we have a special program uh, that is not only for the high level people, but also for the guys who are still young and want to know how do you sign a contract? Uh, what, how do you get your music on these international platforms? How do you use social media? All these things are part of what we bring with this event. So everything that we have curated has been done so carefully 
so that we have an event that benefits more than anything Tanzanians. Tanzanians, Africans, so that our industry can develop. We all know this. Uh, this is happening everywhere in South Africa. We are asking ourselves, why do musicians die poor? You know, these are important questions. And sometimes it's because musicians don't get the education. Musicians are so talented. Our music is so big. But sometimes it, it is paid for free outside. Just because we forgot to put the signature. So we want to bring the most important people to this country so that we can start engaging with musicians. It's the first time we come to Tanzania. And normally it should be the last time. Because next time we have to go to another country. But thanks to our, our discussions, we think that we want to be here for a little bit longer. We want to be here for a little bit longer, and these are, this is, this is uh, the, 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 the plan. So all you have to do, this event is free. All we want people to do is to register. We want you to register because a lot of people are going to come. So we need to see that we know everyone who's coming, and you need to be prepared. Also, as a musician, when you come to this event, you just don't come with your hands in the pocket. We are going to tell you, we have a workshop on Saturday where we are going to be telling you what you need to bring, how you prepare. Do you need a business card? Do you need an online profile? All these things are part of what we bring with access. Um, so we want to thank again um, the Office of Pasata. We want to thank the Office of the Minister of uh, Arts and Culture um, for the support and for believing that this event is important for this country. Um, and uh, everything is going to, I think, we're going to have a, a very successful program. I did not mention the performances. So in, in addition to people learning and uh, discussing, we also have every night, for three nights, performances, where we are bringing uh, bands from Tanzania, from other countries, um, Kenya, Madagascar, Mali, etc., etc. So it's a big movement. The organization that I represent is called Music in Africa, which is a strong network of people from all over Africa, journalists included, who are writing information and putting it on a website that is the part of our daily work. We, we want to strengthen the music industry. Let's give the information. Let's make sure that every musician has got an opportunity to learn. Because our industry, unfortunately in Africa, not all of us have the money to afford music education. And there's so much money from music. There's so much money from music. I want to say this, there's so much money from music. But musicians need to know how to get the money. And this is one of the events that is going to make a change in Africa. So it's free, and all you have to do is show up. After registration. After registration, <laughs> yes. <Show up. laughs> yes. Maybe I leave it here, and, and thank you for listening. And uh, yeah, over to you.